थ्री बिट काउंटर फ्रॉम अ टू बिट काउंटर वट आई मीन बाय दैट यू आर गिवन विद टू इनपुट्स क्लॉक सिग्नल एंड टू बिट काउंटर विच इज काउंटिंग फ्रॉम जीरो जीरो टू वन वन एंड देन अगेन रोल बैक सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज टू इनपुट्स यू हैव टू डिजाइन अ थ्री बिट काउंटर फ्रेंड्स यू कैन टेक योर टाइम पॉज माई वीडियो हेयर and if you come to know its answer please write down in the comment section otherwise i am going to tell you its answer this is a two bit input counter which has two outputs q1 and q0 and it flows like this it counts from 00 to 11 and then roll back to 00 and it keeps on going like this and this is output three bit counter which is expected from us I have given the name of this three-bit counter as Q2, Q1, and Q0. It counts from 000 to 111, and then roll back to 000 and keep on going. So for Q1 and Q0, I can use this input two-bit counter. So that is why I have given the same name Q1 and Q0. If you see the behavior, it is going from 000110110000011011. we only have to calculate the third bit that is q2 if we give some attention on this truth table and very clearly we can see that when this two bit counter rolls over then the value of q2 toggles or in other words we can say that when q1 and q0 both are high and in the immediate next cycle q2 has to toggle its value similarly at this point of time when q1 and q0 both are high Q2 has to toggle and it has to go zero. Let us generate a signal T which will go high when Q1 and Q0 both are high. And we will use this signal T for toggling the signal Q2. Very easily we can calculate the expression for T. It will be equal to Q1 and Q0. When both are high, T will be high. Otherwise, T will remain zero. friends now let us see the final logic circuit diagram for output 3 bit counter which is made up of input 2 bit counter this is input 2 bit counter which is given to us and to calculate q2 i am using t flip flop q2 is the output of t flip flop i have used t flip flop here because i know when the input of t flip flop is high q2 toggles and i also know that when q1 and q0 both are high in the immediate next cycle q2 should toggle and i also have calculated the expression for signal t which is q1 and q0 so when q1 and q0 both are high the input to this t flip flop will be high which will make q2 toggle so this is how we get our three bit counter from two bit counter friends in case someone want to implement the same logic using d flip flop instead of t flip flop then it is very easy to convert a d flip flop into t flip flop let me show you how so this is the logic how we convert a d flip flop into t flip flop and then put this logic as a t flip flop here. thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content your support means a lot to us